I can remember. I learned a tough lesson at the age of 16. I learned that tough times don't last, but tough people do. Tough times don't last. I was 16. It was a cold, breezy night in October. It was a playoff game. The game to go to the state title. I was playing with Hattiesburg High, who barely made the playoff. We were playing Meridian High School, number one play, uh, school in the state and the nation. Before the practice started that week, Coach said, hey, I already know all their plays. We're going to have to watch them this week, but we got to be ready, man. <coughs> we worked hard that week. 15 sprints after every practice, going through all their plays. Coach told us, hey, we want to go out there. We're going to do this thing, fellas. We were geeked up. We had a guy on our team before the game started. His nickname was Killer. He said, I'm going out there today, and I'm going to kill somebody. <laughs> they, everybody don't know my name. Uh -huh. Had a running back. His name was Doug. He called himself Hard D. He said, he's the hardest running back ever he's been. We got there before the game started, jumping around. Excited, walking to the field. And they said, we told them we were saying ourselves, them boys don't know who they're dealing with. Who cares what the media say? The media said they were going to blow us out. Walked out there on our way to the field. Somebody had a big old grill. They had big sausage dogs. It was nothing too good. I was like, what are we going to give my mind for? <laughs> Ribs, all that. Walked past that guy on the field. A few seconds later, the reading walked out. And all that confidence we had. <laughs> One of the guys said, man, these guys like John. <laughs> they had a state player of the year called Andre Miller. Every time he made a tackle, he'd turn around and I can do this right here to the stadium. He was a bad boy. They called their defense to snap, crap, and pop. Rice Krispie defense. Because <laughs> they snap, crap, and pop. So they walked out, they were big. Strong and fast, like I see why coach didn't let us see this film. Like, <laughs> like a college team. Yeah. And we look like a big a junior high team. Then the guys took their heaven off on the national anthem, they just kept doing that. <laughs> Man, this ain't, they ain't scared. <laughs> <laughs> they had beard. I said, I know they ain't verified no person. <laughs> It's gone. Game started. They beat us like we stole something. We stole something. I mean, they piled up. Man, I had O kill them. He was flying across the pile. <laughs> Receiver, the guy that catch the ball, they got alligator on. They thought I didn't see the ball. We saw that ball. <laughs> Fear. God said, Fear not. We were ready before we saw him. <laughs> and then before they started snap, crap, and pop. <laughs> hard D wasn't that hard no more. <laughs> like, man, so halftime scored 30 to 2. <laughs> we only had two points because the quarterback slipped in the end zone with rain. <laughs> they scored a point against themselves. <laughs> they walked to the locker room halftime. We crawled to the locker room. Some of the guys like, Coach, don't, don't let us go back in there. <laughs> we got in the locker room. Coach Willie Coach walked in. He got quiet. And he said, men, no, he said, boys, today you become men. He said, it's not the end of the world. It's not too late. He said, but we got to pull together. We got to believe. And now they're bigger than us, faster than us. But we gotta go out there and face the giant. Then he turned around to the board. And he started to make adjustments to the offensive and defense. Then he had some players in certain positions. He realigned them. 
And he walked over and put us at the end. He said, look, you got to believe we're going to win this. Do y'all believe? The weird thing was, we started to believe. Because Coach said it. We went out there in the second half, and he told, he challenged us. He said, you're better than your, your past performance. We went out there in the second half, but we had a different attitude, a different perspective, and we won the game. We won the game 31 to 30. It only takes one point to win the game in football. Yeah. <coughs> but this story is more than coach to coach, more than football. It's about life. If I sit here and just bother you and tell you different things, but Coach gave us a sense of hope. If you look in your life, have you ever been beaten down by a giant? The job got you depressed, bills got you depressed, life got you depressed, relationships got you depressed. You got to face that giant. Can't run and tuck your head. So in your life, whatever it is, make the proper adjustments, realign yourself, and face that fear. Don't be afraid. Face the giant. I just like the way Coach came into my life and made a big influence. Because I realize now that we have a bigger coach than I like. I don't know if you have a relationship with him, but we and each one of you guys have a coach, Billy Coach, in your life. He's bigger than any earthly coach that you have. And he said to each one of us, get lined up, readjust, and he is with you. And he's telling you, go out and face your fear. So when you leave here today, just think about what he got a coach up here. And he's whispering in my ears. He's trying to coach me up. <laughs> and I'm going to take heed to his voice. So whatever you do this week, don't be afraid. Face your fears. If you receive the message of God, get afraid.